हा व्यर्स वेलकम टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल पार्शल एजुकेशनल ट्रस्ट सो सोफा वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट इंग्लिश एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल अबाउट कंप्यूटर कोर्स व्हाट आर द फंडामेंटल्स कंप्यूटर साइंस यूसेज ऑफ एम एस वर्ड एक्सेल कंप्यूटर नेटवर्किंग ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम्स ऑल दिस आई कवर द सब्जेक्ट so before i am going to the fundamentals i just want you to click on the bell icon and subscribe me so that to you can get the next notifications from me so what is computer computer overview okay today's world in today's world it is that important and it has become informationally rich world and it has become a necessity for everyone to know about the computers and uh, as we all know that computer is an electronic device a uh, data processing device so which accepts and stores data inputs process the data input and generates the output in a required format so this is about the computer so in this tutorial today i am going to introduce you about the computers and its fundamentals only so oh, in this um, uh, tutorial today i am going to introduce only computers and its fundamentals so functionalities of computer so what are the functionalities how it works how the computer works so if we see very broad sense in a very broad sense any digital computer carries out the following steps okay so firstly what happens it takes data as a input it takes data as a input and the second step stores the data instructions in this memory and uses them as required okay in the third step it processes the data and converts it into useful information and the fourth step generates the output in the fifth step it controls all above four steps the four steps which i have said now will control okay so this is how the input and it processing so once we give the input then the processing ka goes inside this system and then we get the generate necessary generated output so this is all about the computer and its functions so what are the advantages of computer how it is advantage for us so firstly it is very few steps okay it is very advantage in a high speed and its accuracy storage capability diligency versatility reliability automation reduction in paperwork and cost so this is how the advantage and eat advantage how it is important high speed in what way it is high speed so as we all know computer is a very fast device and it is capable of performing calculations of very large amount of data okay and computer has a unit of a speed in a microsecond nanosecond and even the po second okay pico second it can performs million of calculations in a few seconds as compared to man who will spend many months to perform the same task so computer can then very easily and quickly very high speedly so this is about the high speed and what is accuracy so in addition to being very fast computers are very accurate though they are fast they are very accurate for the calculations are 100% error free whatever the calculations done by the computers are 100% error free computers perform all jobs with 100% accuracy providing that the input is correct so this is about the accuracy storage capability as we all know memory is very important but the computer has very good memory power very good characteristics of computers are very good in storage a computer has a much more storage capacity than human beings it has a much more power than human beings 
it can be large amount of data okay it can store large amount of data it can store any type of data such as images videos text audio etc anything okay it can store so the cap storage capability is also good and diligence unlike human beings a computer is a free from mentory tiredness lack of concentration you know computer never feel it is like tired or lack of concentrate okay this is how it is important it can work continuously without any error and boredom it can perform repeated task with the same speed and accuracy okay in the same speed in the same accuracy it can work repeatedly versatility a computer is a very versatility machine a computer is very flexible in performing the jobs to be done okay computer is very versatility it's very good it, it is very flexible to do to perform its job this machine can be used to solve the problems related to various fields so computer can solve any type of problem in a various fields at once instant it may be solving a complex scientific problem and the very next moment it can be playing a card game okay <laughs> so this is how the versatility of the computer and reliability a computer is a reliable machine modern electrical components have long lived computers are designed to make a maintenance easily so computers are very easy it can be kept in wherever it is like in a very small place and it is designed like that to maintain okay and about automation computer is an automatic machine automation is a ability to perform a given task automatically once the computer receives a program the program is stored in the computer memory then the program and the instructions can control the program execution without human interaction so this is of the automatically it is done once it is stored once the program is settled then it stores into the computer memory so this is how the automation work done and mainly reduction in paperwork and the cost the usage of computer for the data processing in the an organization leads to reduction of paperwork and results in speeding up the process so it it is very it is very good and make uh, good in processing for an organization to lead the reduction of papers and a good it gives a good results at in the programming as data and electronic files can be reviewed and when required the problem of maintenance of large number of paper files get reduced so you know uh, keeping all the papers storing in the computer ma re makes reduction of the uh, papers you know we can just store the papers in at at same time we can easily keep all those papers into the computer it becomes very easy for us to store also though the initial investment for installment and computer is high it substantially reduces the cost of each of its transaction so it is very easy to buy a computer and to maintain our work and at the same time however we have an advantage of computer in the same way we also have a disadvantages not much but uh, very low like you know uh disadvantages of computers are like a computer is a machine that is not an intelligence performing any task it, we are giving its work and we are may, we are asking to perform such type of task human itself doing it each inter instruction has to be given to the computer every each and every instruction should be given to the computer by the human itself a computer cannot take an any decision on its own computer cannot take any decision on its own we have to give them and dependency uh, it functions as per the user instruction thus it is fully dependent on the human okay the computer is fully dependent on the human but we have created it environmentally the computer should not be dust free and suitable it is not dust free okay it should be a dust free and suitable so computer has no feelings or emotions computer doesn't have any feelings it cannot make any judgment based on feelings tastes experience knowledge unlike humans so these are the advantages of the computer 
thank you viewers i'll catch you in my next tutorial thank you